We are coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pop? Yeah, you're game for Charlie. I'm only being an hour. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. Hot one, hot two. Hot. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy now. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. warming up. The defender says, it's fine, and he comes away with the pick. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. First down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play and that'll bring up second and one hot, hot one hot two hot, hot. and that's just a great run for a touchdown Now there are 
some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about ten on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. <laughs> Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, with a punishing hit. First and goal. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First down and five. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And he throws that one to the sidelines. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Third down and nine. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. 
At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three grand total, total but my watch is a bit slow. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down and long. Hot one. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and five. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try... Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Third down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. QB is saying his prayers. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. I'm sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, eight. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a play, and that's 
That's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And that'll bring up second and one. Defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. And that'll bring up third and one. This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I want you the kid that was setting up an easy kill. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Is a sonic and like Brix's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? First and four. Take the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second and three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Hey, man. I scared on Silla. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. And another interception. This quarterback, the ball's turned over and the defense has it. He's rumbling toward the end zone to score a cluster. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. 
You ever have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and he picks up a new set of downs. First and eight to go. And who ever said never hit a man when he's down? It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Second down and nine. And that's a catch for three yards. Third down and six. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Great catch, and that's a touchdown! Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And he breaks away. Now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. This is fantastic. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And that pass play is good for eight yards. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and two. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First and two. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. 
Picks up four on that passing catch. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. Second down and six. And that is caught for a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Quinn? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh -huh. I don't remember calling 911, but the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. And the offense goes into their two minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stumpsy time. Man, what a hit that was. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Destruction in his path. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels... Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so do the fans.
And that'll be second and eight to go. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot of Tiger Blood, Shark Blood, and internet comments. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. He's rumbling. Boom, and he's dead. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. And he just slipped away like a grease. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! was missing was his time up for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Graham. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he snags it for six! Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Exploded like Humpty Dumpty. What a mess. Tell me about it. Looks like Humpty Dumpty did a little Dumpty Dumpty in his pants when he got hit. Eh, can't blame him. 
The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a stick and he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Wow. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He's not going down. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit then? Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the cube. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. Covered your ears, Bree, because then oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bree. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. And he's on a four-speed dirty trick. This play is usually good for a quick score because no one can catch this guy. Look at him. He's like Speedy Gonzalez. Hey, man, I was hitting on the channel now. You know what happened? Second down and a lot. refuses to go down. The Cardinals fans ruthlessly destroy the opposition and win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition and the fans are loving it. There was only
only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Uh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every other